Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, March 27th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. Take a look at this. Climate change has slowed the Earth's rotation. Can you believe it? We just keep getting dumber. Keep calm. It's boom time. Major California storm with rain and mountain snow threatens to spoil Easter weekend. A storm will wring out inches of rain and feet of mountain snow on California from Friday to Easter Sunday. Fun day. The storm will slow travel and threaten to spoil outdoor activities. Thunderstorms and more mountain snow expected across western Washington as well. And the relentless Twin City snow finally ending results in 400 crashes and smashes. Here's the full forecast. Storms and heavy rain from the southeast to the east coast. Strong winter storm in Alaska as well. Heavy rainfall and thunderstorms will continue through Thursday along the southeast coast through the Carolinas. Heavy to excessive rainfall may lead to flash, urban, and small stream flooding. So heed the warnings. A strong winter storm will bring blizzard conditions to the Arctic coastline in Alaska through Thursday. Holy macaroni. Take a look at this. Frost and freeze warnings out for Tennessee, Mississippi, and Arkansas. So heed the warnings and bring in those sensitive plants, especially western Tennessee. It looks like that is the center there for the coldness. We'll take a quick look here at the GFS model that just came out moments ago. You can see a storm, that storm moving in the Pacific Northwest with significant moisture. It's going to be moving uh, across the country through the weekend here. And so we do have some severe weather here that could linger Thursday on the East Coast, specifically South Carolina and North Carolina there. You can see that those that thunderstorm activity that will be moving off the coast by tomorrow. Let's take a look at the snowfall totals, which look epic, especially for the Northeast where we could be seeing some record totals for April. Holy macaroni. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Al Gore is not happy about snow in April. Here is Thursday, Friday through the beginning of the weekend. Most of the snow is going to be limited to the West Coast, a little bit in the Northeast, maybe some high elevation snow in West Virginia there, but significant totals coming to the Sierras there as the system moves into Colorado by the beginning of the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, fun day, and our event will be over, and then the snow can come Monday, April 1st, April 2nd for Wyoming and Colorado. That's where the big totals will happen, and the storm moves east, dumping some snow in Iowa, Nebraska, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, say it ain't soda. And then take a look at this, the Northeast, April 3rd and 4th. New Hampshire could be buried in up to two or three feet of snow. And that would be some record totals there. Maine is going to get snow. It's insane. And the snow pattern continues for the West through mid-April. Good news. We need it. Seismic update. It's been a very busy day with major activity. Most of it has now disappeared from the map. We had major... Uh, some moderate uptick in six magnitude earthquakes over here on the ring of fire right now, just five magnitudes showing a lot of earthquakes in South America as well here, a five magnitude in Brazil. The big story is here off the coast of Oregon, 5.7 today with some aftershocks. Good news. That energy was released from Cascadia. Are you picking it up? Yeah, I put it down. Downtown Leroy Brown. Worldwide Volcano News Update, we've got Ostia Volcano with uh, 
two seismic swarms over the last few days. You can see the uplift going on over the last few years has leveled off. Does that mean this is the next eruptive period for Austria? Cross your fingers because this baby can blow VEI-5. Santa Guito today to 14,000 feet. Take a look at Merapi. Sudden powerful explosions showered the summit area with those lava bombs. And there you see Merapi to 15,000 feet. Sabancaya, Fuego to 16. Ibu to 11,000 feet today. What else do we have here? Semaru to 14,000 feet. And Austria, another warning just moments ago. A seismic swarm occurred again at the volcano yesterday. So we're keeping a close eye on Astra, and there is that volcano in question just north of the Vatna Yokel Glacier in Iceland in a very unpopulated area, but it is in commercial airspace. So if a VEI-5 were to erupt from Austria, it could potentially affect air travel worldwide, specifically from Europe. Holy macaroni. Here is the details on Austria Volcano and the confirmed eruptions in known history from the geology we've uncovered. And the last VEI-5 eruption was in 1875. Prior to that, there was a VEI-5 all the way back, 8910 BCE. Maybe had something to do with the Younger Dryas period, but I do digress. But a long deficit for VEI-5 eruptions Mostly erupts at VEI-2. Who knew? Now you do. And the Iceland eruption doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon with a boom. Let me see if I can blow myself up here. Yeah, huge lava tracks. Lots of lava coming out from this uh, magma emplacement that has been ongoing now for weeks. And unfortunately, it's not a tourist attraction. No one can get there, so. If you want to watch the volcano, you've got to do it through a live stream. But fascinating nonetheless. Space weather news update. The sun has gone quiet and is getting qu quiet ever still as those sunspot regions turn around from the limb. We do have a small coronal hole, which could increase seismicity, which we've been seeing. Ding, ding. But the three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet on the Western Front. NASA to launch sounding rockets into the moon's shadow during the next solar eclipse. What does this mean? Were the Egyptians right? Is this the end of the world? Is the apocalypse coming? No, it's just going to be another day. NASA will launch, however, three sounding rockets during the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024, to study how Earth's upper atmosphere is affected when sunlight momentarily dims over a portion of the planet. I can assure you what their findings are going to show is that it gets colder. Because it does. Yeah, a lot of good science up there. Now, climate change has slowed Earth's rotation. This headline is all over the news today. Can you believe it? I am sharding my pants. And it could affect how we keep time. Oh my God! Everything's going to get screwed up. The effect of melting polar ice could delay the need for a leap second by three years. We're going to have to add a whole second every three years because of global warming. That just added to my panic level. Now, an analysis published in Nature on March 27th, that's today, has predicted that melting ice caps are slowing Earth's rotation to such an extent that the next leak, leap second the mechanism used since 1972 to reconcile official time from atomic clocks. With that, based on Earth's unstable speed of rotation, will be delayed now for three years. Holy macaroni. The leap second is ending, and the penguins are mocking us. The only problem with this is that it's not based on anything factual, just a fantasy. The Arctic ice extent is some of the highest in decades. Here we can see it. The extent is the highest in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, in about 11 years. And the Arctic ice area is also the highest in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 12 years. So that is the data coming from the global warmists themselves over at earth.gsfc.nasa who are funding the whole project. 
So what's melting? That's my question. Highest ice extent, highest area in over a decade, and the earth is slowing? Another short article. Elaborate 600-year-old castle complete with moat unearthed in France. Let's take a look. In fact, we're looking at it. Look at how spectacular this building is uh, from quite some time ago. What did they say the date was? A 600-year-old castle. Looks like it was built yesterday. What did I just do? There it is. I just did it back. The ancient castle's moat, after archaeologists excavated it, showed like dead people in there who were trying to get in or something. Probably not, but what remained of the 600-year-old castle was a testament to its elegance and significance. It looks like downtown Philly. Amazing. You know what? It's amazing. Heirloom vegetable seeds where you can grow your own food, seed save the seeds, and regrow it next year. And each time you grow it in your region, you're creating something called a land race, a specific seed that's saved for your area year after year has more and more genetic benefits to your, to your success in your region. So after five years, you could create a true land race for your grow zone at your farm, your permaculture orchard or whatever, and you will have the best results by seed saving and replanting year after year. If you need to get started, the best place is the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers, one of our affiliates, and you will get the cheapest prices on heirloom, non-GMO, open pollinated seeds to save, save the seed sovereignty of earth and to save your ass in a time of despair. There are still over 234 vegetables in stock, hundreds of herbs and flowers. And if you use the coupon code ORP2024, you'll get 10% off. If you buy more than 25 bucks, you get free shipping. Go get it. And if you can spare some time and make it to the San Luis Valley this weekend, it's going to be incredible. The 2024 San Luis Valley Seed Exchange is happening. The theme this year is wild foods and medicines of the valley. They're going to be talking about cannabis medicine. They're going to be talking about herbal use of our ancestors, ethnobotany, one of my passions. And Lee and I are going to be doing a talk on the medicinal properties of hops because if you didn't know, hops is native to the region and has so many medicinal benefits, you wouldn't believe it. But if you join us on Saturday at around noontime, we will be doing a talk at the San Luis Valley Seed Exchange on such a thing. So ding, ding, go get it. And that is a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are packing and preparing for the event coming up in just a few days. We love each and every one of you. Please hit the thumbs up, share this video, become a Patreon, support the work we do, watch all our podcasts in one place commercial free, and be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.